What's up guys, TechFlash here and today I have some seriously juicy news for you. Basically, we finally have the name for Huawei's latest operating system which is going to be rolling out on their latest devices if Android ban is continued or if this whole situation is not resolved by US and China. Basically, Huawei registered their OS under the trademark of Hongmang recently in China. However, it was also reported that a different version of the same operating system will be launched globally and the name of that operating system is going to be different. Now we finally have the name of that operating system and it is called ArcOS. Basically, Huawei has finally filed up for the trademark of this operating system in Europe, which means that this is going to be the global variant and the operating system is called called ArcOS because Huawei recently launched their own compiler which is called Arc Compiler. Now if you don't know about compilers, it is a very very complicated subject but I'm trying to make it easy for you. Uh, so if you have an Android application, a package for Android application which you download from the internet and then you want that code to run on your system or your mobile phone the software that will enable you to translate that code into an actual software is going to be the compiler. So compiler is basically a translator which is present between the app code and the actual application and it converts the code which is written by developers into the software which we use on our cellular devices. Now Huawei launched this R compiler for Android with their Huawei P30 Pro. However, this R compiler is now going to come up with the ARC OS and Huawei is going to use it as a marketing tool as our compiler is supposedly better than the actual compiler used in different Android devices and it provides up to 60% better performance when loading and using applications. Now if we take a clear look at all the evidence that is pointed in front of us then it is clear that Huawei is going to be using some version of Android for their operating system. Now I also believe that with time Huawei is going to modify that Android version into something entirely different from what Google is doing and after some time we are going to see three operating systems. One is going to be iOS from Apple, one is going to be Google's Android and one is going to be Huawei's Arc OS which is also going to be Android but in a different way. I also believe that Huawei has best chance of beating Android if there is any chance of beating Android because many people are putting the example of Windows which was a great operating system but it failed because there were no apps for Windows operating system. However, in case of Huawei things are a bit different and the biggest difference between Huawei and Microsoft is the fact that Huawei has 50% of its users in China and Chinese people are already not using any kind of Google services so there is not going to be much of a difference for Chinese people who are using Huawei devices and they are 50% of the total audience Huawei has. So Huawei has serious chance of introducing a great operating system. However, it's not going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be most difficult task pulled out by any software manufacturer because let's be honest, Google is the king when it comes to software and other companies are just trying their level best to compete. So I want to know what are your opinions about the whole Huawei ban and do you think it's fair, do you think it's unfair or do you think that this is just going to end very soon. Do let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section below and if you want more content like this be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be posting all the updates related to this ban on this channel. I hope you liked the video. I will catch you in the next one.